Hi, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I just want to remind everybody that on December 30th, 2017, we're having a UFO sighting event over at Hollydale Park. Uh, the host is going to be uh, Fausto Perez. Uh, I think we're going to start it at 10 o'clock in the morning and we're going to end early at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I uh, just wanted to invite everybody and hope you guys can make it. I wanted to show you something that I ended up capturing this last weekend with Robert Bingham. We ended up going over to uh, Angels Point over uh, above Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. It was a little foggy and we only saw two things, but this first one was so fantastic. You know, I have to admit that it was a little slow this day. We were out there for about an hour and a half, but this first one was unbelievable. All I can say is that uh, I'm very impressed with Robert Bingham's ability. He ended up calling these things to come over to our location, and they came. It, it was just fantastic. It looked like two separate entities connected by a cord. Number one, this one looks strange. When was the last time you've seen something like this? It's kind of bulbous and uh, definitely separated in two parts. The upper part is holding up the bottom part. Uh, the upper part almost looks smaller than the bottom part, which uh, to me is um, impossible. So number one, the one at, at the top uh, looks to be held at the very, very bottom. As you can see, it's, uh, it's definitely, there's a bottom onto it. It's definitely not hanging on from the middle, okay? It's hanging from the very, very end, like a typical balloon would. Notice the connection cord uh, attaching to the bottom. As you can see, that the connection cord peers at one of the uh, bulbous things at the very bottom, and you can see it's a little bit on the shiny. Just note that this is not a chromatic aberration. This is where the upper portion attaches to the lower portion, okay? I'm hoping you can see and understand this with your own eyes. There's no tricks here. It's silly to think that this is anything else. So watch as it begins to rotate that the first connection just disintegrates and then the back connection is maintained. Also notice that one of the bottom bulbous structures begins to engorge. It starts to get large. Also, take a look at the color. Does that look normal to you? Now notice that the top structure become less vertical and becomes more horizontal. And now watch how the tether seems to move from the end to the middle. Robert called and this thing came to our location. Do you think that this was an accident or some sort of a freak occurrence? Do you think we just happened to have our cameras and came to the right place at the right time? Look, this is not a flying saucer. This is an unidentified flying object. A flying saucer can be a UFO, but not all UFOs are flying saucers. We just want to let people know that this is another type of UFO that we don't understand yet. When we speak with them, they can answer with something other than words. It's like an esoteric language. They only speak to people who are paying attention. It seems to me that they filter out people who are not ready and are close-minded and cynical. Watch as the upper object develop a curvature and notice that as the bottom structure starts to rotate that it becomes black on that one side but also a normal coloring toward the bottom. I hope you like this video of this atmospheric anomaly. I invite you to our next UFO sighting event. Please go to LA UFO channel on meetup.com and come join us. Uh, we always have a fantastic time. It's always, it's always fun getting together. Make sure you bring your camera because sometimes we see weird things like this, orbs, flybys, a whole bunch of other crazy things. So, um, so I invite you. If you see anything else in this video that you thought was interesting, please put it down in the comment area. And we'll see you guys next time.